everyone, Dr. Chris here, and in today's video, I am going to be talking about line symbology within ArcGIS Pro. Actually, that's not quite true. I'm going to be talking about line symbology across your organization, from paper maps, to in the office, to mobile online. And why? It is important that they are exactly the same across your entire organization, and why it has to be the same across your entire organization. Here we go. Now, why exactly do you have to have the same line symbology across your entire organization? Actually, it's not just line symbology, it's point symbology as well. But we as GIS folks, we love making symbology and we, we make it on our computers and we want to fiddle with all the cool stuff that we can do. We can change strokes, we can change spaces within the strokes, but we also have to make sure that when we make symbology that our field operations and our people and anybody who's going to use paper maps that it all makes sense and it all looks the same. Now, why is that important? That's because we want someone in the field go, hey, what's this purple line for? And we know what we, they, they are talking about. Someone's got a paper map and they say, what's this green line for? And we know what they're talking about. And they and the paper and the mobile folks have to be able to communicate as well. Now, there's a bit of a limitation within ArcGIS Pro that forces us to use a very specific line symbology. I'm going to show you that right now. All right, here I am in ArcGIS Pro and I have created a two-stroke line symbology between my jellyfish points that I created in my last video and it would look pretty good on a printed out map. However, if I want to take this online for field workers, we have a little bit of a problem within ArcGIS Pro. I will show you that right now. We go to share, we share it as a web map. There's a few things we have to do before sharing it as a web map to ArcGIS Online. I'm going to put in some details. I'm just going to copy and paste details. And we have to do an analyze to see if we can actually put it on ArcGIS Online. And what pops up is that the layers symbols will be downgraded. What that means is we're only really allowed one stroke effect on our line symbology. Now we can get around that doing a little uh, jiggery pokery, but I'm not going to be talking about that. I'm just going to say that what this means is Ultimately, when you're dealing with ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Online, and you want to make sure that your you, ha you have to make sure that your symbology looks the same across your organization, from paper to, to to in the office to mobile online. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this was my super fast GIS tips. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.